Today we're learning this really satisfying snowflake animation in PowerPoint. Let's learn how to do it. So all you need to do is open up a new presentation in PowerPoint and we're just going to change the style of the PowerPoint in, in design, format background to black, right there. We're going to change the layout here to blank. So we've now got a blank black slide. We can close this format tab while we're at it. Now all you want to do is just open a Google tab and just search up white snowflake PNG and then just find a, just find a snowflake that you like. Um, for example, I will just use a snowflake that I've got in my folder right here. And we're just going to close the tab, copy it in and just drag the snowflake in. So hopefully you've got your snowflake in here. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to size this down. This down. Now let's use a cool um, shortcut, which is control shift to just size it down in the middle, keeping it the same shape. So there we've got go. We've got a small snowflake. Now what we're actually going to do is pull it right underneath the slide and we're going to change the animation to fly in. Now you can see that didn't do anything at all because the effect option is from bottom. So if you think about it, if it's flying in from bottom, it's going to just stay where it is because it's not actually on the slide. But let's change it to from top so that it, it flies in from top. Now that's a bit quick for a snowflake. So we're just going to change it to around three. Let's say let's just, let's just keep it a three duration mark. Now we can also open up the animation pane, which is something I usually do during my my animating, um, especially this sort of animation. We can zoom in now and we're going to actually make it a lot smaller. So we're going to make it about that size. Now we want about maybe 40 or 40 of these, um, 40 of these snowflakes going along the bottom. So let's just go control shift and just drag it along. And we're going to drag it until it's about there. You can zoom in as well to check that that distance is good. And here's another shortcut, control Y to redo your action. So that just keeps copying the snowflake over and over again, over and over again. And we can just have a look at how much of the shape we've covered. Yeah, that's going to be about 40. So we've got exactly 40, actually, um, which is pretty, pretty good. And we can also um, just drag this over across. Now your PowerPoint might start to get a bit laggy, um, buggy, um, but don't worry, just persevere through it and will we'll be fine and you can just go to your animation pane and just go control a and change the start from on click to with previous so that it all happens at the same time now right now it just looks like a whole line of snowflakes just falling from the top which doesn't look that good so we can just move it to the side we can use our keyboard arrow buttons to move that and what we're going to do is stagger the animations and also change the style of the snowflakes and speed, etc. So this will take a bit of time, but don't worry, it'll look like an amazing lexum and then just zoom in. What we're, what we're first going to do is just alternate the size and shape of our, our snowflakes and you can also rotate it. So let's start with the size. So we can just have a bigger one, a smaller one, bigger one bigger one smaller one let's make sure make sure it doesn't peek up under the the, the slide because that's important and we can just move this along and you just want to continue doing this for the rest of this for the rest of the slide the rest of the snowflakes now while we're busy at work doing this I'd also like to say um, thank you all for um, almost hitting 400 subs um, if I'm at if I'm not at 400 make sure to subscribe to help me get to that mark and even if I am you can also subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss that you don't miss any future animation content after this video is over you can also go and check out some of my other previous animations for uh, both the Christmas season and future PowerPoint presentation animations and with that we are almost done we're about halfway through let's keep going really put on some Christmas music right now but that'll take a bit of editing process so let's not worry about that okay so we're almost there we can just just do whatever we want we're gonna have one giant snowflake right there why not 
and to also get a and to also get a sense of depth we're also gonna stagger how fast each animation is you can just size down some of these now that took a while i'm guessing you you would not want to do this for the rotation of it as well because that would also take quite a long time take quite a long time so we're just gonna I'll show you a quicker way of doing the rotation that still looks pretty good because the rotation will be a bit hard to see as the it's the the um, snowflake is literally just hexagonal and it's quite symmetrical so that's not we don't need to worry so much about that it's really snowflake and we can have one giant one at the end here nice okay so what we're going to do is just zoom out okay you don't need to worry you can't really see the snowflakes really because the background's grey and the snowflakes are white etc but look we can just highlight loads and then just rotate them highlight another few just rotate that uh, just keep doing this it will, uh, the more you do this the more random it will be you don't need to do this so much but i think it just adds to the randomness you can see it the, even with the animation zeros it's making it really random so if we zoom in now you can see it's all different different rotations as you can see right um that's pretty good um some of them will be similar so we can just zoom down and just do some more rotating okay there we go we've got some randomized snowflakes which is really good so now what we're going to do is we're going to stagger the animations now what i mean by this is this animation might happen before or after this next animation so what we're first going to do is we're going to just leave this one on a zero um on a zero actually you know what let's make a 0.5 delay now for this one we can add it to make it a 0.5 5.5 delay um once again this isn't so so um so set so you can just use this drag tool actually this black um, black arrow drag tool by just hovering over the block animation and just dragging it to wherever you want so let's just make that there and we can just pull this here there we go it's more it's more let's let's see now once again um we're going to get a bit bored of this so let me talk while we're doing this so make sure you comment below some animations that you'd like me to browse on uh, if, if there is some animations that you want me to do um, and if not, just um, comment below what you think of this animation and my other animations. And also make sure you like this video. Since you're all the way here, you're probably quite dedicated and you've, you're going to get a good snowflake animation once you've gone through this entire video. There we go, let's just do this. There we go. About halfway through now, we can just pull this. You just need to make sure it's as, as much randomized as possible because otherwise it, it becomes in, in layers and you'll see what I mean later and later because there probably will be layers once once I'm through with this if I haven't done it correctly because it takes a few tries for this sort of animation to, to work because I guess it just does the there will always be some lines in there that you need to sort of separate separate out because in real life you don't really see snowflakes falling in in sync that would be quite weird if you just saw a whole line of snowflakes just going down and hitting the drawer at the same time let's hope we don't have any of those well we can have a look now so we're just going to press play all and we'll see how it looks so you can see uh, the animation is already coming together and we can actually pull um this this first snowflake in a bit actually because it's quite far out actually overlap it and let's see how that looks now yeah that already looks really nice now there's a few more things that I'd like to add to this animation to give it even more pizzazz and what we're going to do is we're just gonna um, click random animations look at that lovely um, there we go now we can change the duration we can just add one, one maybe just click randomly Minus two, add one, minus two, add one, add three, add one, add like load, okay, add minus, add, minus, add, add. 
Now, once again, make sure to hit that red subscribe button below if you want to be notified. Obviously, you need to click that bell notification and make sure to watch out for some of my new videos. Videos over this Christmas period, I might decide to do some Christmas animations. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing yet, but we will see. I will have um, hopefully daily content coming out during the Christmas holidays as I'm not in school right now. There we go. We're coming together nicely basically want to get it off three because there's going to be lots of durations with three if you don't know what i mean don't worry you just need to really just make sure that you're you're getting that randomized animation okay let's try that let's play it now yeah see that looks really really nice you can see there's this one snowflake here that's that's dropping quite slowly and that's what you really want some randomization now one final thing to really make this animation stand out and that's for the snowflakes to um to sort of to to spin basically um it'll make it look a lot better and let's just pull that out a bit i think that, that'll make it look better once better once again it's just a bit of testing to see how your animation is you don't want there to just be like loads on this side that's falling uh, at the end so like you can see that's quite a good spread by the end um so that's pretty good oh just one lone snow from the snowflake what's that what's that doing that? what's that doing yeah so that's a bit too far out i think it's a bit too far out i think that would look a lot better okay so that is very very nice um that's very nice uh, and all we're going to do now is just go control a just click out and then go control a so you're selecting everything now what you're going to do is go add animation and we're going to make it a spin animation now what we're going to do is just change the duration to 10 uh, whatever's the longest one so that's delay nine so we're going to make it uh let's say 13 then oh my powerpoint is stalling a bit that's that's the problem with so many animations but i think it'll be fine um let's hold let's wait for it it's going up and up Okay, we've got the duration going up. So we want about 13 maybe on the duration. You want to play around with it however you feel it will look nice. Um, my PowerPoint's stalling a bit, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, we've got a duration of 13. I guess it's still going up. We can always reset it down later. Uh, maybe don't click so many times on the up arrow because maybe your PowerPoint will start stalling like mine is. Um, and I don't have an amazing computer, so there we go. It, it's a bit better now. We can, I think 1350 will be good, to be fair. Now you want to make sure you click on this one with the mouse icon there and make it with previous so it also happens at the same time, it happens at the same time, and then just pull it down so it, it all ha happens at the same time. Now what you want to do is just randomize it, just hold control and just start clicking random ones over here. And you might be wondering what we're going to be doing and we're actually going to make it go either clockwise or counterclockwise right now it's going um it's going it's going clockwise so let's get change the ones that we've selected to counterclockwise it'll make it look more even more randomized now let's play it and see our final animation now thanks for watching this video make sure to click on this video right here if you want to continue with the festive spirit and learn how to make a spin the wheel animation in powerpoint that is interactive to choose both names or any other option you want so make sure you check out that video have a merry christmas and i'll see you next time